Aren't you bad? Okay. Your buddy's mind gonna tell you right. You show, show your face in the broad daylight. I'm telling you how I feel. Gonna hurt your mind. Gonna, don't shoot to kill. Come on. Come hey, on, 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 on. YouTube. Welcome to my channel. The channel that makes its own gravy. And we're gonna look at blur today. All my blurs. So, uh, I've gotten into the. I've been collecting the Titans Return line uh, or Transformers Legends for the Japanese ones. And uh, I've been trying to figure out how to go about this because I need to get them all. I'm just missing Weird Wolf. I'm going to review all the Headmasters eventually, and I think this is how I'll break it down. I'll do the Decepticon Beasts, I'll do the Autobot um, Headmasters, and I uh, will do these uh, movie figures that didn't used to be Headmasters but are now, or Titan Masters if you prefer. So well, let's start with Blur, and because I've got some other versions of Blur, I'm going to do all my Blurs. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll dedicate this video to. Uh, a uh, friend of the channel, Six Shot Changer, and his Fembo, all in a blur. So, this is the new Takara Legends blur, and it is gorgeous. Definitely much better than the Hasbro Titans Return version, because the paint scheme is so G1 and much brighter. And there's his little headmaster inside. Sitting in there, nice little uh, cockpit. So the video, we're going to focus on this guy, but uh, just because I have some other versions. This is the animated version of Blur, obviously, and um, this was almost my first animated figure. Um, I got him recently, but uh, so back when animated was still in the air, uh, I was sort of hesitant about it, you know, because it was new, and some of the designs I like. I like the fact that the toys looked a lot like the cartoon. And I was very impressed by the engineering to make that happen. And I saw this guy in the store. Uh, I think it was ages three and up back when it was just uh, a different type of store in the mall. And I almost got it just because it's such a cool vehicle. These, it's very Tron-like, isn't it? And the wheels that has a spinning part in the center here. These become his feet. Um, this is a really cool design. The only problem is this hood is a shield slash weapon. I think you press, yeah, you press this down and this, this happens. So, there's that. Um, but otherwise it's really cool. So, uh, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have any animated figures at the time, so I didn't get him and kind of regretted it since, so I bought him uh, last year. And this is the uh, Generations version of Blur, which is a really nice car. This is a repaint of Drift. Uh, I didn't pick up Drift because I didn't know who he was at the time, I hadn't read the comic. Um, obviously I haven't transformed him quite right. Uh, that's as close as I could get. Now, I, I can do it, but I did something wrong with his feet here. Uh, you'll also notice that it has the Reaper labels on here. Transformers the Movie 86. and uh, Which I was just watching. I, I got the new Blu-ray and wow! you got to get that. Uh, they've really cleaned up the image quality. Um, it's got some nice behind the scenes, some nice commentary. But just mostly the video and the color the sharpness and detail, it looks like a brand new animation. And it is gorgeous. You gotta get the movie. Um, I'm a big fan of the movie, so um, I, I mean I had mixed feelings on it back when it came out, but I, I love the movie now. It's one of my favorite things in Transformers. Now I'll just talk about this guy a little bit. You can see I've kind of smooshed him up here and he's it's not the most challenging Transformer. The thing is, it's it's sort of like, you know, you can transform it, it's it's not as bad as you thought it was going to be. It ends up being pretty satisfying, and you can appreciate the unique challenges it presents, but you're not sure if you want to do it again. Uh, it's kind of like having sex with a fat person. Yeah, you're going to have to rewind to fully appreciate that joke. But, uh, it's obviously easier to get it into the robot mode than it is the car mode, but... Um, if you're going to get this guy, definitely pick up the repro labels, because you can see they do wonders for it. Makes it look like an actual car. And the last blur is not a blur. This is the uh, like Glacier Ice version of um, of the new uh, Transformers Robots in Disguise Drift. Hey, Drift. Uh, and I've stuck this logo on here and done a bit of uh, pen painting. I painted in these uh, black and silver and the red and the silver around here I painted on. But I thought it looked like Drift. It reminded me, I mean, Drift. Uh, oh, I painted that with a silver marker too. And these two lines. 
it reminded me a lot of Blur when I saw this. So I got it and I'm just going to pretend it's Blur. So we'll transform all of these into robot mode and compare the blurs again. The only one I'm going to show on camera is this one. So let's separate all this stuff. I should transform it the other way. But uh, I'll do it this way. Just because he's already in this mode. This whole thing actually comes off or it can just store down his back. You gotta get the Titan Master out because this has to, this wheel plugs into the back hole here. And this does detach by way of these pegs. If you want, you can take it off and use it as a boat. You can put his gun in there. Or you can use it as a shield. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, you can put his gun peg under here so it sticks out. He's got a gun shooting there. But looks uh doesn't look the great. Just doesn't look the best. So let's split these legs. This is kind of like um the combiner wars way of uh, opening legs up. So they open up that way, they flip open. And you can hide this in here. So here's his gun. It is the same gun that comes with uh, Chrome Dome and the same gun that comes with Getaway. Cheap. Now I originally transformed him from uh, vehicle to robot mode, but uh, my phone screwed up and uh, couldn't save it. So now I'll transform him back. Important to note this little feature. So very nice. I really like it. It's uh, too small to fit in with a masterpiece, of course. Uh, I'm still waiting on a good masterpiece blur. I know there's the fans, t no, the unique toys buzzing, but uh, it looks too flat and boxy for me. And also, I would just keep calling it Buzzinga. Buzzinga. So I'm not gonna get that one, but um, I'm sure uh, there'll be a good one coming along. Probably Fans Toys is doing one. But in the meantime, this will be a really nice blur, especially if you've got a smaller scale collection. Highly recommended. Yeah, it's 50 bucks or um, 40 bucks. You know, it's to car prices, but but well worth it because the Hasbro version is just it's almost all one color. It's very uh, very monochromatic, and that's just not blur. My suggested alternate head is Nightbeat. Looks pretty good with Nightbeat. So here are my blurs, all in robot mode. And here's the uh, Takar Legends version. Virgin? Virgin. Probably my favorite now. Just because he's the most uh, faithful to the G1. But let's put him aside for a minute. Let's talk about my uh, Drift Blur. Which kind of makes sense because this uh, blur was made from Drift. Just to, I believe this is a new head sculpt. Yeah, different from Drift's. And you can kind of pose these shoulders in different ways if you want to as well. Uh, you got a bit of an option there. A lot, but uh, again, the repro labels do wonders for bringing out some colors into him. Looking pretty good there, pretty good. Um, one thing I do like about this figure is the uh, scabbards. The doors turn into these sort of scabbards, and on Blur, they're a pair of pistols, but on Drift, he's got some swords in there. 
which is cool. Let's sl slide right in there. Dual pistols. It also comes with this big old savage looking sniper rifle, which is cool. This um, handle can be rotated around. And you can actually hold that in two hands. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I think he did some sniping in the IDW comics. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's put him aside. Uh, again, because I was talking about this guy. So yeah, this is the drift mold. I've just painted this silver here. I'm not sure if I should paint his mustache on there or not. Don't think I will, because it doesn't really make sense. Um, I like that he has scabbards here too. You can put these swords in there. And they also store underneath him in car mode. He's got his two swords. Uh, yeah, I just painted that to kind of resemble the uh, windshield. I think it works okay. Obviously the head isn't very blurry, but... Um, <clears throat> and then the animated version with this uh, stupid weapon on here. But uh, this is quite an ingenious design. Especially the way like these hips rotate around. This part here is... Uh, how does it go? It's like this. During the... Transformation, yeah, it's like that. You get into car mode. He just he does some clever little things that really really impressed me. Although he's a bit limited in arm articulation because of these big shoulders, and they kind of pop out of place. But uh, very nice looking figure. Yeah. So anyway, that's blur. All my blurs. Watching and uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, this Transformers Legends, but this is uh.